What's going on guys? In this video, I will show you how to make real gold and silver jewelry with a 3D printer and castle resin. In this example, we're going to use the Mars Elegoo 3 Pro 3D printer. All the jewelry you see here was made with this printer. If you're starting a jewelry business, this printer is an absolute must have. This is the easiest printer to use and I use it to make all my jewelry. And best of all, this printer only costs $300. I will show you how to set up the printer, how to use the software it comes with, the entire process of how to make waxes, different tips and tricks, and more. Let's get right into it. To make jewelry, you have to print with a castable resin. You cannot use standard resin. Castable resin is slightly more expensive. In this example, we're going to be using the Power Resins Burn castable resin. In my opinion, this is one of the best resins you can use to make high quality jewelry. If you're on a budget and you're not making super complex waxes, you can also use the Sariatek resin that's available on Amazon. This resin is a lot cheaper, but there's an extra step when it comes to curing the wax. Make sure you guys buy the blue one and not the purple one. The blue one is a lot better. Alright guys, so the printer is going to come with everything that you need including the printing software on a USB drive. The only thing that you will need to buy is alcohol. Make sure you buy alcohol that's at least 91% or higher. You're going to need the alcohol to properly cure your waxes. Alright guys, so the first thing that we're going to do is set up the printer. The process is going to be the same no matter what model you have. First, take the wrench that comes with the printer, take the building plate, and loosen both the front and the side screw. Next, take a piece of paper and put it on top of the glass. Click on the tool button, click manual, and click the home button. The plate is going to come all the way down. When it comes all the way down and touches the paper, press down on all four sides of the plate to make sure it's sitting even on the paper. And at the same time, use your other hand to tighten the front and the side screw. Now try taking the paper out. If the plate is squeezing the paper and you can't pull it out, click on the 0.1 millimeter and click up until you can pull out the paper with a slight resistance. If the paper is too loose and you can easily take it out, click on the 0.1 and click on the down arrow. Keep clicking until there's a slight resistance when taking out the paper. After you take out the paper with a slight resistance, click back, click set Z equals zero and click confirm. Then press 10 millimeter and press up about 10 times. And the build plate is going to rise up. Next, you're going to take the film off the tank Put it on top of the glass and screw in both screws. Fill the tank about third way full of resin and close the red lid. Next, we're going to set up the printing software. Connect the USB drive to your computer. Click on the drive and click Cheeto Box to open up the software. All right guys, so here's the app right here. Click on settings. I already have my printer here, but what you're going to do is click on the plus, click Elegoo, scroll down and select the printer right here. And here you guys see it. Click OK. And the next thing that you're going to do is click on print. We're gonna have to go to the resin website to get these settings. So we're on powerresins.com. Click on printer settings, select Elegoo 3D printers, scroll down. And right here are the settings for the Mars Elegoo Pro. We're using the burn resin and the settings are 8, 12, 85. So change this to 8, change this to 12, and change this to 85. Once this is done, we're ready to import our file. I will show you two examples. The first example is going to be a Cuban chain. And the second example is going to be a Cuban ring. All right guys, so the first thing that we're going to do is import all the STL files into the program. Go ahead and drag all the files. And right here we have all the files that we need for this bracelet. Go ahead and click rotate and click plus 45 two times. This is going to make sure the files stand up straight. Click the next file, rotate 45 degrees two times. We're gonna do this for all the files except for the clips at the end. So here are all the files right here. Look on the bottom and make sure everything is green. This means that everything is leveled correctly. Now, if you guys want to resize your files, make them smaller or bigger, simply click on the file, click on scale, and change the percentage. We're gonna keep these files the same. Now, some files will need supports and some won't. Supports are little sticks that hold up the file to make sure they print correctly. So the only file that's going to need a support is this lock right here. And the reason for that is because the printer prints layer by layer and it won't be able to print this part right here correctly. So to add a support, we're gonna select the file, click on supports, and we're gonna have three options, light supports, medium, and heavy. For jewelry, I suggest you guys use medium. We're gonna click on plus. And we're gonna add a support right over here. Just like that. And we're also gonna add one more support right here on the bottom. Go to the main page. Now count how many links you will need for your chain or bracelet. Select the main file, click command C to copy it, and then click command V and paste as many links as you need. Make sure none of the links go outside the frame. And we're going to click slice. After that, we're gonna rename our file, save it, and take the file and import it into the hard drive folder. Let's disconnect the USB drive and get the printer ready. The next thing we're going to do is apply the primer. This is going to make sure you get flawless prints every single time with no failed prints. Use the yellow plastic spatula to spread it out evenly all over the plate. Make sure you get a nice even coat. Apply a good amount and put it on UV light for about 10 minutes. The next thing that we're going to do is pour resin into our machine. Fill it up about a quarter way and attach the plate. Plug in the USB drive, click print, 
find the file, click on the play button, and the printer will start printing. As you guys can see, this file is going to take about three hours to print. The printer is going to print everything layer by layer. Make sure you guys close the red plastic lid. The resin is very sensitive to light and you don't want light to hit the resin. The red plastic case prevents UV light from hitting the resin. The printer prints the file layer by layer by using a strong UV light and when the UV light hits the resin, it makes the resin solid. After the file is done printing, the printer is going to raise the plate and your waxes will be ready. This is what the waxes are going to look like, as you guys can see it printed perfect. And the next thing that we have to do is cure them. To cure the resin, we have to put it in alcohol. Take a plastic bin and fill it up about a quarter way with alcohol. The next thing that we're going to do is take our plastic spatula and scrape off all the files into the alcohol. I strongly suggest you guys only use the plastic spatula. I don't use the metal spatula for anything. All that's going to do is scratch up the plate. It's not needed. Once all of the resins are in the alcohol, let it soak for about 2 minutes and cure. The alcohol is going to mix with the uncured resin and turn green. After you're done curing the waxes and alcohol, take them out and put them in a different bin. Put the original bin with resin under sunlight or UV light for a couple of hours. Wait until the resin falls to the bottom and solidifies, throw the resin out and drain the alcohol. You should never drain the alcohol mixed with the resin. Again, drain the water out and you're going to do this one more time with cold water. Rinse it out for about one minute and drain it out. After this, put all your resins on the paper towel and let them dry completely. Alright guys, so for the next example, we're going to do this ring right here. The difference of this file and the last file is that this file right here is going to need supports. We cannot just print it flat. So we're going to go ahead and click right here. The ring is going to rise. Click medium. Click plus right here. And wherever there's red, you're going to have to add a support. So we can either add the supports manually ourselves, or we can click on plus all and the program will add everything itself. And this ring is ready to be printed. Go back here. Click on copy. Click Command V and paste as many rings as you need. Now click Slice, save the file and drag it on the USB drive and go ahead and print them. After the file is printed, use the plastic spatula which comes with the printer to break the waxes off the plate and let them cure in alcohol for about 2 minutes. Next, wash your waxes with hot water and then do it one more time with cold water. Let your waxes dry and the next thing that you're going to do is cut the supports. Never pull the supports because that's going to leave a hole in your wax and that's extra work for your polisher. Cut them as close as you can to the wax. If you're making a gold piece, sand it down with sandpaper. That way you will lose less gold. Since these are going to be silver and silver is cheap, it's not a big deal. So just cut them and our rings are finished. Here's what all the waxes look like. And now our rings are ready to be casted. And casting is super easy. Let's talk about how to turn these waxes into silver or gold. The easiest way to do this is to find a casting place in your city. You will pay a few dollars above the spot price per gram. So let's say that you want to cast this in 10 karat gold. And let's say 10 karat gold costs $25 a gram. So you should aim to pay around $26.50 per gram. And you should aim to pay around $2 per gram for silver. This is including the silver cost. You would then polish the piece, plate it if you want to, and your piece is done. If you're starting a jewelry business, a 3D printer is an absolute must-have. Printing waxes is very cheap and you can prototype them anytime you want. And it's that simple guys, there's not much to it. Printing your own waxes is super easy. After you're done printing, if the prints didn't have any flaws, meaning there weren't any printed parts stuck in the resin, you can simply wash out the plate, apply the primer and start printing again. When you're done printing, simply take the paper filters and drain all the resin back into the bottle. Clean the tank with alcohol and the plastic spatula. Also clean the glass with alcohol and you're done. It's that easy. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, please ask in the comments below. Please hit the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.